My name is Nicola Ingram and I'm a proud Palawa and Wiradjuri woman from Nipaluna Latruida, so Hobart, Tasmania. And I moved up to Victoria in 2016 to pursue my passion of acting and ended up here at the Victorian College of the Arts. It can be quite daunting as an Aboriginal student coming into uni for your first time because you get a bit worried that you might be asked questions where you are expected to speak out on behalf of all mob, which can be really daunting and stressful, but having the support of Will in there means that there's that link where you can say, oh, well, why don't you have a chat with these people? Or also being able to bring somebody into the room if you're going through a rehearsal process where you need that um, kind of consultancy in the room as well. I was really lucky with scholarships during my time in my undergrad. I had a mix of scholarships from around the place. I lived at Trinity College and that was through a scholarship. I think that came through Willen and Murat Barak and then also another scholarship that I had through Trinity. So it meant that I got to live on campus at Parkville and they provide tutorial assistance and stuff like that as well, whilst also connecting me with other mob studying at that campus, so kind of creating more community, which is really good when you come from interstate. I originally found out about the VCA when I was in probably about grade seven, so it was always kind of on my radar and I had seen bits and pieces that had been done here, and then pursued theatre through high school, like through drama classes and then theatre practice, and then, yeah, applied for for the auditions. When I didn't get in the first time, I made it through to like the final round. I kind of knew that I had that connection there that I could come back, like it wasn't daunting coming back the next time because everyone was so encouraging. And then when it came back to auditioning, that's when I received a lot of support. So having somebody meet me before my audition so I knew where I was going because it can be a bit confusing where you're going on your first day, especially at a university. And then, yeah, also making sure I had everything I needed for the audition and then having somebody actually in the room of the audition as well, which was a really big thing for me, yeah. The second one, I think it was just a really off day for me. I came into the room and was just not really feeling it and didn't get a call back. I came back in to Willen after I had that audition. We had a good yarn about it and kind of figured out well, where to from now because I knew that I still wanted to get into the VCA. The energy of my final audition where I got in, I kind of knew that I had it in the bag. Like I think it's this thing when you perform, I find a lot of the time I need a bit of space in my work. You know, I want to go to other mob to talk to them about the piece I'm creating and kind of have that social and cultural connection. And so Willen's always been a place where I can go in and kind of get advice when I need it or get somebody to kind of look over something and make sure it's, it's all good. But I think for somebody like myself who isn't always represented in the industry and is starting to get a bit more representation and figuring out what that looks like, BCA has really given me the skills to be able to step in and bring my own work forward and kind of say, this is a new way of doing things. My name's Tiriki Onis. I'm a Yorta Yorta and Jar Jar artist, academic and maker. I've got the great honour of being the head of the Willen Centre for Indigenous Arts and Cultural Development at the Victorian College of the Arts and the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music, the Faculty of Fine Arts and Music here at the University of Melbourne. If you're a First Nations artist, if you're passionate about what you do, and if you want to take your practice further, if you want to turn it into a career, we want to know you. We want to help, whether that be through scholarships and grants, whether it's about connecting you up culturally, providing opportunities to connect with country and place and story, and the story of our families and ancestors, or whether it be providing access to Indigenous tutorial assistance services, academic advising, we want to be there with you right the way through your journey. From initial interest, application, audition, success and then helping you chart your way through your degree and ultimately to support you into finding opportunities in the career of your choice. All we ask is that you have a passion and that you want to take your artistic practice and use the power and the privilege contained therein to bring your stories to the world.